Hey everyone, I want to talk to y'all about silvers, right? Because the very first pillar, when it comes to business, we have four, right? The very first one is what? Recruiting, right? Recruiting people, getting them started with the products or the opportunity side of things. Then from there, you're helping them love their products. That is so, so important. So you don't end up with just a welcome pack business. Let me silence all these things, y'all. Okay, so you don't end up with a welcome pack business. And then from there, you're starting to duplicate a, a bit, right? You're helping others go silver and beyond that, right? We have to think of the end vision for people. We don't wanna just talk, let's get your products covered or let's get you a few hundred extra dollars. Let's talk big. And so how do you do that? Well, first of all, in order to help people go silver, you have to know who you're helping go silver. You can't just go in blindly and say, I want all the silvers. And so when it comes to silver rate, around 20% is a really good rate. So if you personally had 10 joins, level one joins last month, you should expect to help two people go silver this month or the next month. You know, it has to be the right timing. But the very first thing that you need to do is connect with them. If they don't feel like you care about them, if you haven't connected with them and know a little bit about them outside of Plexus, then they're not going to want to go silver. They have to know that you love them, you care about them, maybe you know a little bit about their family, maybe you've been helping them through their product journey, and you've been with them, right? You're basically their friend. So that's the very first thing, is when you're producing or helping people duplicate, you have to connect with these people. And unfortunately, I can't tell you how to do it, right? Everyone is so different, and so there's not just one way to connect, but if you're listening, you will know maybe they're struggling. They just had a family member um, who had surgery, or maybe their kid, they're currently potty training, so you guys are connecting about that. Or maybe they're a military spouse, and so you're connecting about that. It's literally just drawing the line between, okay, this is Kara, this is April, how can we continue to connect, right? There has to be the relationship piece. Uh, the next thing after you've connected is inspiring them. They have to be inspired in order to take action. I mean, think back to your journey and what your sponsor did. How did they inspire you? Was there a video they shared with you that was super inspirational? Was there some sort of money that was dangling that you were excited about? Um, maybe it was the community. What was it for you, right? You have to think back to how you're inspired, but more so, how is this person going to be inspired? It's in each person basis. It's not this catch all, send this video to all these ladies and they're all gonna be inspired. That's not how it works. You have to literally think, okay, this is Heather. She's a stay at home mom. What could this do for them? Well, hmm, maybe they have some debt. Maybe she would love another community of women. And so you just have to kind of guess. And sometimes y'all, I will literally say, you know, hey, Heather, I'm trying to figure you out. Will you share with me what color you are on this graphic? And I will send a graphic that has all the color personalities on it. Um, they're on Pinterest. They're all over. But anyways, I will literally ask people and they will say, oh, yeah, I'm red all the way. And I'll say, perfect. So I'm going to talk money to you all day long and goals and competitions and prizes, all the things. Or if she says, oh my gosh, I am so yellow. Okay, note to self, she's gonna be one that wants to help all the people, wants to love on all the people. So it really is important that you step back before trying to plant seeds and figuring out, okay, this is Heather. How is Heather going to be inspired? And how you guys know if you're inspiring people in the right way, is if they're taking action. If they are not taking action, they probably haven't been inspired or it, it may not be the right timing for them. So the next thing is after they've been inspired is call to action. 
you have to call them to action. So again, this is gonna look differently, but typically for me, um, I'm giving them a choice. I'm saying, okay, are you more so the type that would wanna throw up a post? Um, if I gave you a copy paste post and a graphic to throw up, or are you most more so the person who would wanna connect with your friends through messenger or text or even face-to-face? -face? Which way um, would you prefer? And then from there, y'all, I let them know. I give them proper expectations. If you don't give them realistic expectations, they are going to shut down as soon as someone opens up a message and doesn't respond. Or as soon as they throw up their post and eight people don't say, oh my gosh, give me information, right? Because think back to when you got started. I didn't have realistic expectations. I know that I relied on my sponsor to do that, right? To share that with me. And y'all, if you're worried as a sponsor to share with people what they need to be doing to be the most successful in this business, you have to take a look in the mirror. To me, that sounds like you could have a belief issue, right? Maybe you don't have the vision, the big vision yet, but y'all, when it comes to, because I'll hear all the time, people say, well, I don't wanna be pushy. Y'all, I don't wanna be pushy either, but these people are saying, yes, tell me more. Yes, I'm inspired. Yes, I want to make money. Yes, I wanna change things for my family. Yes, I want to be home with my kids. So guess what, then that's your job, y'all, to help them be most successful. And that is giving them realistic expectations and it is calling them to action. And it's gonna look differently for everyone and that's okay. Maybe for a red, I'm saying, okay, make a list of 50 people who we can help. Like, let's do this thing. Let's make a list of 50 people so that we can earn you the big bucks. And then maybe there's a sweet yellow where she's really nervous about reaching out. And I say, okay, girl, let's start with a list of five. We can do this. Let's help five of your friends. Let's love on them during this time, okay? So you just have to step back from trying to be super efficient, right? And be more effective. That's what we're looking to be when it comes to business builders and an opportunity such as this with Plexus. Okay, so you've already connected with them. You've inspired them. You've called to action. Now it's your turn, y'all, to watch. To watch. Are they going to do the things they say they're going to do? Okay, this, my friends, is where we end up dragging some people, right? If you've sent four, five, six messages and so-and-so hasn't responded back to you, your new business builder, she doesn't even get back to you, or she keeps saying, oh my gosh, I'm so busy. Yes, I'll get those messages out. Or whatever it is, if they aren't doing the things after being inspired, then y'all, we don't drag and beg and plead them and let them slow up our business. We keep moving forward. We don't forget about them. We remind them, hey, don't forget about that extra cash or hey, let's help your friends. But you keep moving forward, right? You don't wait for these people. Because I think like Christina's story, Brittany didn't wait for Christina a full year until she was ready. Brittany kept planting those seeds and kept inspiring her. But until she was ready to take action, Brittany didn't just sit there, right? Brittany kept moving. So make sure you're continuing to move. You're watching people's feet, making sure that they're matching their mouth. Um, and then ask them. This is important. So you're not only listening and watching them, you're asking them. And I say something like, you know, hey, Jenna, I know you said that you wanted to get out 30 messages last night. How did that go? And then from there, I literally say, what kind of responses did you get? And that way I can reassure her if she had someone who said no, I can say, oh my goodness, share with me a screenshot so I can see what type of no it was. And then I just reassure her and I say, okay, perfect. It looks like it wasn't the right timing or, oh, perfect. Let's respond like this. And so just really letting them know this is all normal when it comes to the business side of things. 
Because y'all, if you leave your people alone, or if you leave them and you say, okay, they're inspired, like they're good to go, they're taking action. Well, they may shut down when they get a nasty response, or they may shut down if their best friend doesn't want to join them, or they may shut down if they don't get responses that they wanted to get. So ask them good questions and listen, and then reassure them that that's normal. It's just part of the process. And y'all, our job for when we've inspired people and they're taking action is to help them get quick success. That is so very, very important. And then the last thing, y'all, is to support them. Love on them, connect with them other than just plexus, help them get that quick success, really immerse them into the community that we've created as a team, right? Maybe invite them to the next opportunity Zoom we have. Um, maybe invite them to jump on a team call or book study, whatever it is, um, and celebrate them, y'all. Any steps they're taking, celebrate it. Make a big deal about it. Because you have to think back to when you got started and how it was a little bit scary, right, to take action. Or maybe it was outside your comfort zone, and that's okay. That's okay. You just continue to remind them of why this could be big for them. And y'all, when you're inspiring them, you take them beyond, let's get you sober. Let's get you $300 cash. It's way more than that. It's asking them, if in the next five years, your life were to look identical to what it looks like right now, would you be okay with that? Or what would you change? Or if your bank account were overfilling, you guys had no debt and your calendar were completely empty, how would your life look differently? And that starts to get their wheels turning. And that's where they start to think this could be bigger. This could be for me. But y'all, it is up to you as a sponsor and an upline to show them how this could be a good fit, to show them how this is worth their time, to show them how this will change things for their families. So I hope this helps. Again, connect. First of all, figure out who you're helping go silver, right? Write that list down. Be intentional. Um, connect with them, inspire them, call them to action, um, watch, ask, listen, and support them. So I hope this helps y'all. You guys can produce some amazing silvers, amazing business builders. And remember, when you're looking, because yes, we are looking for certain people to build this business with us. Um, I am personally looking for people of integrity. Um, people are, who are fun to work with, people who are hardworking, people who um, are willing to take action, right? Um, they like to initiate things. I'm looking for leaders. Um, I'm also looking for people who are coachable, right? Now, if I'm not seeing all those qualities in a person, but I see potential, I know that y'all, when I first got started, and I still struggle with this, I am not always coachable. And so knowing, oh my goodness, if she's not coachable or oh my goodness, if she's not influential on Facebook or oh my goodness, if she's not this, this or that, that's okay. We can grow those areas. But the one area that I need to have in a person who I'm looking to um, duplicate with me is they have to have integrity. That, I mean, if they don't have integrity, I'm not spending time there. No, thank you. Um, Cause that'll be the person y'all that um, causes drama on your team. So integrity is so important, but y'all can do this. Don't overcomplicate it. It's so easy to overcomplicate it and sit back and say, well, what is she doing? What is this girl doing? Why is she blowing up? Why does she have the most business builders? Step back, get out of your head, stop over overcomplicating it and make it about each individual person. And y'all, if you are not sharing this amazing opportunity with everyone, 
with every single person, even those people, because I have them too, where you're like, oh my gosh, I am so nervous to reach out to her, or oh my gosh, she would probably never do this with me because, right? Y'all, those are the people you need to reach out to. Everyone, everyone deserves the right to hear about the opportunity side of things. Because y'all, I looked successful too. I was a speech therapist, loved my job. I was a happy mama, happy wife. But y'all, deep down inside, we were drowning in debt. Y'all, I, I wanted to be with my boys more. I was stressed. It was really hard because my husband travels all the time. If the kid, kid was sick, I had one at the time. If he was sick, I had to miss work and it was hard. So y'all stop writing people's stories without giving them the opportunity to say yes. And y'all, if you haven't followed up with these people who have said no to you or no things about the business side of things 10, 15, 20 times, then you haven't done your job. Because y'all, there's a lot of people on my team who didn't say yes to me the first five, 10 times. And that's okay. But I truly believe this business is for people who are willing, not who are capable, it's those who are willing. So I hope this video helps and I hope y'all have a fantastic day.